Jenny Stevens. So I did my first uh, highlighting and contouring video um, over a month ago now and the big part in it was that I was really excited because I was waiting for my blending buds to arrive. So they got launched 1st of March, yay! So I thought I'd redo it, plus it's a gorgeous sunny day. I thought I'd make use of the natural sunlight. As you can see, it's bright behind me. Um, so I thought I'd redo it. And also with uh, the BB creams as well. So my personal favorite is I like the touch foundations, but as I've already done this, um, I will do the BB creams. I may use the foundation as well. Um, I'm gonna go with the flow but I wanted to show you how easy it is so highlighting and contouring is huge at the moment everyone's talking about it everyone wants to know how to do it I'd never really heard about it before until a few months ago um, but I went and learnt how to do it and if I can do it you can do it so I'm here just to show you how easy it is and what simple steps and simple things you can do to get that fab look. So, as you know, I am a unique presenter, and love, love, love all of the products. So today I will be using only unique products. So, I will be using my BB creams. So to start off with, just to show, tell you, sorry, not show you, but just to give you a bit of um, theory behind what it is you need to do. So the reason we do highlighting and contouring is to bring that light and shade to your face. So apparently the perfect um, face shape is oval. So apparently I have a bit of a heart shaped face. Um, some people have um, a square shape, so you might have a really kind of defined jawline, some people might have, I've got quite a little forehead, some people might have big foreheads, whatever your face shape is, the highlighting is to bring out what you want, so we always highlight underneath the eyes, um, the kind of a V shape on your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, um, and then we always, 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 number one rule, you always contour your cheekbones so we always want to just make those cheekbones just look a bit more defined if you're like me and you've got a bit of a round face it's great because you can just make your face look thinner um, you can do underneath your jaw so again to kind of if you've got a bit of a double chin like me you can just kind of shade it so you can kind of see here this fatty bit here if you shade underneath it just gives the illusion that that's not there awesome um, so depending on your face shape will depend on where you need to shade and where you highlight. But I say the, the basis is the basics is one, your cheekbones. Um, if you want to make your nose look thinner, so again, I've got a bit of a wide nose, you can shade down here. Um, and then so for my face shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade kind of round the top of my forehead, down my nose, cheekbones and underneath my chin, okay? Um, so the shading makes it come in. So by shading kind of round the side of your face will bring my face in and highlighting brings it out. So underneath the eyes, if you've got any bags, so my bags aren't too bad because I use my Uplift Eye Serum, which is oh, just amazing. Um, but I still got a little bit, you know, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, but it is awesome. Um, and that will just help them make you look more awake and will just bring those bags out. Okay, so if you've watched any of my videos before, you will know that number one step is always primer, the glorious face and eye primer, two in one. This stuff is just like liquid silk, love it. So just put a bit of that all over your face just to give your face a nice base for what you're going to put onto it. This is just key. Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, so what I always do is do a base first. So I use my normal colour which matches my skin tone. Um, if you're not sure of your skin tone, then please contact me and I can help you. I've got a brilliant um, shader stick which is upstairs in my spare room slash office. Um, but this can, I can help you get the right colour for your skin tone if you're not sure. But for my skin tone, I'm a bit pale at the moment, I've not been on holiday for quite some time. I use Bisque of the BB Cream. 
Um, so what we'll so we'll use our blending buds. So they come in the little canister which I can't find. So you always need to use them wet. Never use them dry. I spoke to my friend today who said, "Oh, they're not getting them quite right," and uh, found out she was using them dry. Okay, so step one: get them wet. So I have mine. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, so just put them in. You could just run them under the tap, whatever. Saturate them in water. Give them a squeeze to get the excess water out. Then what have I done? So then just get paper towel. Um, or a towel, whatever you want to use, and just get off that excess water. Oops, got it a bit on my laptop. Oops. So then we've got the little one as well. So the good thing with these, so you get two sizes. So you've got one to do the bulk of your face, if you like, and then you've got the smaller one to really get into those um, definition areas where you want to highlight or shade. So you can really get into the, the nooks and crannies, if you like. Okay, so that is my blending buds wet. Okay, so um, these are made from um, some kind of rubber. Ooh, can't remember what it's called, apologies. Um, but the main thing to know is that they're not completely latex-free. So um, just be a little bit cautious if you do have a latex allergy. They're not completely latex-free. Um, but these little gorgeous blending buds are meant to give you that flawless foundation look great for blending obviously they're called blending buds duh um but they could be used for like multiple purpose so once i've done my foundation then i can show you just a couple of little tips just to help you and also um how to clean them so i'm just gonna mop up the water that's on my laptop don't really want to make that go bang okay so bisque so i'll just put a bit of this on my hand and then you can just use either the butt of it um, or the side, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use the bottom. And then, so what you want to do with these buds is dab or kind of dab and roll um, just to help get it off. So you can kind of see, I can kind of blend and roll, uh, sorry, dab and roll like this. So we'll just get that all over. Blah, 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 blah. God, it looks like I'm going in fast motion. Um, so always go down onto your neck. So what you don't want is to have um, the dreaded, you know, the darker jawline. So actually, by kind of dabbing and sort of rolling, actually you can get on there quite a lot quicker. So it's really easy and quick. might still be a little bit too damp but um should be fine okay so that's my base <coughs> so what we do in terms of color wise so i have got um, the shade lighter than bisque so this one is called cream so this is actually the lightest one that we do and then I've gone for one um, it's either one or two shades darker than my skin tone so it, it kind of depends how much definition you want but if you just want a natural look then I would suggest going one shade but you can go one one to two it's really kind of dependent um, on what you want because the, the main thing is that the blending is what will help um, sort it out so if you have got one that's two shades darker you'll be able to use it in the summer and the winter but just make sure you really blend it in so this one is called honey okay so we will start off by doing the light um, I have seen a good tip I'm just gonna do that very quickly so I saw a great tip from a makeup artist on YouTube where actually if you put some powder on first it's meant to make your uh, foundation just I don't know a lot better so I'm gonna do it um, so this one is my touch powder mineral foundation so I'm just gonna use a bit of this just underneath so this is what I, I use these as um, 
my foundation. I've, I, I use BB creams kind of on the weekend if I don't want to have much, um, if I don't want much uh, makeup on. But these are fantastic for coverage. So I'm just going to give a bit of a powder. And it will just kind of help also the BB cream stick. Right. So for highlighting, as I mentioned, so what we want to do is kind of a triangle underneath your eyes. Um, we were going to do the V on your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, but don't do like the end of your nose because that will just make the end of your nose look bigger, which you don't really want. Um, so I'm going to use the smaller one for this just so we get in, um, especially underneath the eyes. So let's do eyes. Oh, it's probably a little bit. So we'll dab it on and then we'll blend it in a second. So you can see how much lighter this is than my skin. So we'll get down the nose, here. And then I'm just going to do kind of above the jawline and then we do the darker underneath. So again, it will kind of make that bit shader, shader? That bit shaded and then this bit light. So that is that. And to kind of show you before I start blending, so to kind of get that tribal look, if you like, I'll um, put the darker bits on. So then we're going to put dark around here, down the sides of my nose, a little bit more. Great thing these BB creams is that they're really light, so you don't feel like you've got much makeup on, which essentially that's what we want. You know, if we all have perfect skin, then we wouldn't need to wear much makeup. So I do look after my skin with our amazing cleanser. So just have a think about what it is that you're using to take your makeup off. Because if you've got good skin, then you can just get away with something really simple like BB creams, just a tinted moisturiser. Okay, so we've got down there, and then I'm going to go underneath. <laughs> it does look funny when you've uh, kept my hair out of the way. Could you imagine if you actually just forgot to blend and you just walked out of the house, hey, I'm ready for my Saturday night. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I would do. Okay, so let's get that underneath there. And I'm just going to get a little bit more. Okay, so now what we can do is we can start blending. So before I just do that, so you can see, so where I want to make my face look thinner is around here. So this will bring in my cheekbones, bring in my head a little bit, but it's making my eyes come out. We go, wow. So let me have our blending buds. So all I'm just going to do is just kind of dab and roll around. So you just want to really blend it in. My phone is going crazy today. Everyone's just going mental for 3D Fiber Lashes. The good thing with these is you can kind of you can use all the elements so you can kind of see I'm using like this bit and then you can just use the butt to sort of blend just dab away and just blend until it's all done I'll use the smaller one just to get in my eye and if you end up bringing, you know, dark into the light or light into the dark bit, then just put a little bit on top. You can correct yourself, which is great.
So you can see, especially this side, you can really see just how subtle that line looks. So these buds just make it so simple and so easy. You just dab to blend. Um, or if you've got a blending brush, you know, it worked. That's what I was using before these arrived. Um, but these just are really quick and simple. Oh, sorry, I've got a cough to come. Let me just... Okay, so, so if you want to, you know, if you, if again, you can kind of, you can see just that really natural look either side. There's not, you know, you know, if you want it a little bit more, then you can just add on a little tiny bit more. It's just, there's no right or wrong. So if you just think, actually, I want a bit more, then just add a bit more. Okay, so there we go, that's pretty much it. So it, you can see it just looks really, really natural. There's no harsh lines like you see obviously the before picture when you've got, you know, dark, white. It's really subtle, really natural. Hopefully all underneath my chin is all blended in. Um, so there you go. So, you know, if you have got quite dry skin and the BB creams um, are brilliant. If you need a bit more coverage, so I say my skin's pretty good at the moment. If you need a bit more coverage, then go for the Mineral Touch Foundation. So these ones are in powder. Powder is really easy to blend as well. So especially with a brush or with with these, powders are really easy to blend. Whereas with um, creams, um, also the BB creams are nice and light. Um, but the creams just again I think these would work really well rather than a brush with the cream foundation so it just depends what kind of look you want this is a really nice easy you know I could just pop out pop to the shops um, but you know if I was going out then I would use these these are brilliant and again you just don't feel like you've got me on so that's really simple how easy was that you could do that you just need two shades or three in terms of base light and dark um, but all you need is two all I've got with my touch foundations is two colors I don't have one for my base color because I do this every day for work I just do light dark and off I go to work um, super simple super quick it's just as quick as putting normal foundation on so that's that that's how to highlight and contour um, so if you would like me to send you I have a face shape um, guide to help you know where to shade and where to highlight so if you would like that then click on the link below and I can send that to you you just need to give me your email address and I can send that over to you um, but that was really simple so just while we're on the bud so another quick tip that you can just use these for while you've got these dirty if you like with your makeup then you can just use them for your bronzer and your blusher as well it saves you perhaps getting your brush wet but it's just another alternative to your um puff brush and then your bron uh, your blusher brush so um as we're putting makeup on let's get our fab new beachfront bronzer i absolutely love this stuff it is awesome so you can just get the bottom of it give it a dab over, you can see it's going on, and then you could just, and again, you're blending as you're putting it on, so it's just, you know, you're doing the two jobs in one, so you can just see that going on, so you'll lo use, sorry, not lose, you'll use probably less makeup, because you're just doing a tiny dab, and then adding that on so you're just getting that lovely glow with this you can see with this it's got two tones so you've got shimmer and matte so it's perfect for just giving that nice little glow look love it
I went out yesterday and literally all I put on was BB cream and just a touch of this. That was all I did. So you can, you know, wherever you want bronzer, but that's just fab for just giving you that lovely glow. There we go. And then blusher. So I always just like to add just a touch of colour with the pink. So let's use the smaller one. So I have my, so this is sweet, the touched pressed blusher. So we can just put a tiny bit of that. I think the great thing by using these, um, cause say it, you're blending as you're going, so it's really subtle. There we go, job done. And if you kind of end up going too high or too low, you've you've got your blending bud, so you can just blend it in. But there we go. So you know, really quick, three steps: foundation, bronzer, and blusher all with two little fab blending buds. So there we go, it all looks a bit weird without me having my lashes on, so I'll, I'll uh, I think I might have to go ahead and put my 3D Fiber Lash Mascara on just to finish off my face, as well as my splurge. Love this stuff, this stuff is just gorgeous. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Um, feel free to ask me any questions. Um, check out my blog, jenny-stevens.com. Um, to say if you want to have some help with where to shade and where to highlight then get in touch and I can help you I hope that was useful and I will see you again soon bye